At this place in history, we're in Granby with Executive Director of the Vermont Historical Society, Steve Perkins. Steve, what are we talking about today? So we're talking about these two stone cairns that are behind us that are the burial, probably some of the earliest Anglo burial sites in the state of Vermont, and they just so happen to belong to two soldiers who are part of uh, Rogers Rangers. So Rogers Rangers uh, really was the first kind of special forces unit in the North American continent. It was put together by uh, Robert Rogers. Um, he was uh, started off as a captain, ultimately ended up as a, a major in the uh, British Army. We're talking 1750s now. And he was asked to put together um, troops that could fight in the wilderness. And at this time, the English were fighting against the French. Um, both had Native American allies. Um, and so there was a lot of uh, irregular actions taking place. And so Rogers became known far and wide for the training and the rules that his troops would follow. And those rules, those rules of rangering, are still um, used by today's United States rangers. Wow, so how did they become involved in this area in particular? So this area really was a, a, a contested area between England to the south and France to the north. and. There weren't many people living here, either French or English, because of that, that war going back and forth. And there were raids by both French and English regular troops, but also by Native Americans on both sides, um, with lots of casualties uh, to civilians um, and captives taken in both areas. So in 1759, the Abnaki, who were allied with the French, um, had been raiding all down through what's now northern Vermont, northern um, New Hampshire and northern New York. Um, so Rogers was told to take his men north and to raid the main Abnaki village that they knew of called St. Francis. It's now called Odenac. Um, it's in Quebec. It's near Montreal. So they got to St. Francis and uh, they burned the village. They killed a, a lot of people. I mean, really a, a massacre um, of Abnaki uh, on the hands of the, the rangers. Um, and then they took off into the, into the wilderness. They said, now how are we going to get back? We're being pursued by the French army. They crossed Lake Memphremagog, uh, landing up around like, Newport, um, and then following the game trails and the uh, river routes down through northern Vermont to then end up at the Connecticut River to follow the Connecticut River down. So where we are in, in Granby would have been along that route, probably following some of the Moose uh, River down through here. We know a lot about this action because most of these men were very literate and they kept journals. So Rogers kept a journal. Many of his uh, subordinates kept journals. And one of those subordinates, uh, Sergeant Campbell, um, who had a group of men came through this area and he wrote in his journal that uh, you know they were very hungry, they had to live off the land, they had no supplies with them, um, that a pack of wolves was attacking a moose. And so they figured, well, we can get the meat from that moose. Ended up that the wolves attacked his men, two of the men dying after before the wolves could be driven off. And those men were buried in stone cairns right here. You know, it's, it's rare to have an old grave like this and as well documented uh, as it is. At this place in history,